Welcome to Engineering Studios. The Sydney Harbour Bridge, along with the Opera House, are all the iconic landmarks around the Sydney Harbour. The Opera House was inaugurated in 1973, while the Sydney Harbour Bridge was opened to public 41 years earlier, in 1932. Sydney Harbour Bridge spans Sydney Harbour from the Central Business District to the North Shore. Nicknamed the Coat Hanger because of its arch-based design. Check this out, you probably will agree with it. The arch spans 503 metres. The top is 134 metres above the water. The pylon granite was quarried near Maria, on the New South Wales south coast. In 1914, John Bradfield was appointed Chief Engineer of Sydney Harbour Bridge in Metropolitan Railway Construction, and his work on the project over many years, earned him the legacy, as the father of the bridge. The Sydney Harbour Bridge had experienced a long-run optioneering stage, the final single arch bridge option was confirmed circa 1922. The final bridge design was based upon the Hellgate Bridge in New York City, which was opened in 1917, with the main span length of 298 metres, it was built 15 years earlier than Sydney Harbour Bridge. Due to the deep water challenge, it is not efficient to provide the middle support during the construction. Hence, the bridge construction adopted the symmetrical cantilever construction method. The arch fabrication was started from each end, and the two steel halves of the towering arch met in the middle of the span. The bridge construction took eight years, till when it was opened in 1932. It has used 53,000 tons of steel and 6 million hand-driven rivets. The Sydney Harbour Bridge was the world's widest long-span bridge, at 48.8 metres. This record was broken by the Port Mann Bridge in Vancouver, Canada, which has a 65 metres wide section, serving 10 traffic lanes built in 2012. The Sydney Harbour Bridge has eight traffic lanes and two rail tracks in the middle, with a footpath on the east side, a cycleway on the west side. It is worth to mention that, since 1998, it has been made possible for tourists to legally climb the southern half of the bridge to the top where a 360-degree view of Sydney awaits. It takes about 3.5 hours for each tour including the preparation. You can imagine, how stunning will that be, especially at sunrise or sunset. After so many years, the Sydney Harbour Bridge is still in safe operation, benefits from its ongoing bridge management and maintenance. The most noticeable maintenance work on the bridge is painting. The steelwork of the bridge that needs to be painted is a combined 485,000 square meters, the equivalent of 60 football fields. The arch bridge, since it was invented, is always a popular bridge type. With the development of technology and engineering knowledge, the long span arch bridge is keeping breaking the record. By 2022, eight arch bridges have surpassed the Sydney Harbour Bridge in length. However, as a masterpiece of work, the elegant Sydney Harbour Bridge is always a shining star in the engineering society. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to keep updated. See you next time.